The advanced nature of consciousness explored. It is fascinating. So, we are consciousness. We are really clever things. So we go out there and we check out the human body and then we start to give things names and numbers. But that's about as far as we go. And then we go to the next step where we assume how these names and numbers interact and work. And uh, we never really actually know. We go to DNA and we give it colors, lines on a graph, and numbers. And then we claim we have made a major breakthrough in understanding DNA. But we don't really know how it functions and what it is actually all about. It is fascinating, though, that we are calling this evolution. Now, how can that be evolution? Because the cells and the DNA were already is already here. It's part of the physical body, which is far more advanced than this consciousness that is attempting to understand the physical body. So consciousness, in fact, is attempting to understand God, and God is the physical body. Exactly what we've been saying all along, dust to dust. Have a look at what's really going on. You are going about it all in a messed up way, not understanding the big problem. That which you abuse, the physical, that which you are trying to get away from, the physical, that's what gives you life. That's God. What you are, as consciousness, is an abomination, is a possession, it's a Holy Spirit. It is useless without God, which is the physical.